Okay, guys, uh, this is a bit of a different video. I don't normally make videos like this. Um, this isn't really a rant. Uh, this is more or less me just, I just want to talk about this. I want to have a discussion with you guys. Um, so, basically, uh, recently I've been getting incredibly frustrated with Overwatch. It's really not fun anymore, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I used to have fun on it, and now it's just getting to the point to where there is cheese comps, and really, Bastion is just ruling this meta. And, you know, this could be just simply because I am in a lower rank. It could just be because of that. Um, but I have made posts on the forums, because, you know, normally the forums where you're supposed to go, and you can just talk to people. Not, like, you know, but you know. So here's one. I make a lot of posts about um, uh, Bastion and Torb. So let's look at this one. Can we find a way to fix the Bastion and Torb combo? And then I said, my friend and I have a good system so that somebody has already picked Bastion that nobody else can pick Torb and vice versa. How can we get this done? Because Bastion Torb combo is really annoying and needs to be stopped. It is true. That is very true. This person, of okay, they provide you know ways to stop them. Helpful. How about, and this person says, how about you let people play how they want instead of trying to get restricted because you can't bother to learn how to counter the strategy. So, of course, I, uh, you know, did that. Um, hooking a uh, Sentry Bastion also helps too, at least in my experience. So this person's, you know, Somber can act Bastion or Torb. Uh, yeah. They're working as a team. And this person, see, people get so, so angry in the forums. Honestly. So they're working as a team and you think that's annoying. Why don't you try it out sometimes? It's not that. It's just... And then I said, first of all, when there is no one on your team communicating or coordinating, it's kind of hard to do that. Very true. That's where prioritizing would come in, but that's only if you have your whole team with you. That is true. Then then that's honestly a just personal issue. Just because the enemy com team can work with it doesn't mean... Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's basically everything like that. Uh, so then... I made, uh, let's see, another one. Uh, can we do something about Bash about Torb and or Bastion, but mostly Bastion? So, I know that people say that Torb's Bastion can be easily countered with proper coordination and communication, but what about the people who go into solo queue or have bad teammates? Bastion and Torb are the lowest skill heroes. I, I put in my opinion, so nobody would get offended... They are very annoying, as I'm sure many people can agree with me. That is true. Uh, but when you get a Bastion, Torb, Ryan, and Mercy all on the payload, that is where it gets kind of frustrating. I'm really hoping that Blizzard do something about both of these heroes and try to make them into heroes that require actual skill, similar to what they're doing with Symmetra, because she does require more skill now. I know her rework is pretty far off, but it's still a step in the right direction. So, then, yeah... I'm not talking about counters, I'm just talking about the characters. Nah, man, I get it, it can be frustrating. The thing is that these heroes, Bastion in particular, require quite a bit of skill at higher elos. Bastion is actually quite difficult higher up. Let's see what they do with Tor, pending the rework. Although I think Bastion just needs some tuning, then he will be okay. And I said, I see what you're saying, but for the most part, it's just put Bastion behind a shield and let Mercy pocket heal, pocket him. And also, why should a team go out of their way just to counter one hero instead of actually engaging in real combat? I get where you're coming from, though. A lot of Bastion comps work mostly entirely around the Bastion. You counter the Bastion, you counter the entire team. This is also why Bastion is harder higher up. He has to stay mobile. And see, that's the thing, yeah, and higher up, you know, elos and stuff. Uh, they're already doing Torb. I hope the uh, considering Bastion last F tier... Oh. <laughs> Okay, yeah, and then it just got weird. Um, this was a meme. This was me actually. And then here is me, once again, talking about Rework Bastion. Uh, is anyone tired of Bastion Torb and Rework Sim? I basically just went on saying that they're bad heroes and everything. And this one, this one, uh, yeah. Okay, so this one... This person, right here, Temujin, got very triggered. I mean, they got so triggered. So, I'm just going to read out what they're going to say. I'm going to read my response and everything. So, 
Sounds like a true hater. They're so easy. Easy win. Yeah, okay, well, if that were the case, then you'd be playing with them. You'd be playing them instead of complaining about them. You just can't deal with the fact that you can't play them well and win with them. And against other people playing them, you get stomped. See, this right here, this, this tiny little sentence, that's true. They do stomp me. But to me, there is no playing Bastion well. You either play him or you don't play him. That's how it is. It's fine. Most kids in Overwatch are like you, too. You're part of the majority. That's why there's no diversity in this game. Uh, that's contradictory because he's saying there's no diversity, but everyone's playing the exact same cheese comp. I mean, thinking, you know? So then he just lists off a bunch of apparent counters. And then I said, first of all, I said civil discussion not being rude to people, especially the person who created the post. Second, I'm talking about the fact that they take significantly less skill to play as compared to other heroes in the game. When you come in here talking trash to me, I take it as a sign that you cannot have a civil discussion like the rest of the players on this post. Like I stated earlier, these are my opinions and you can agree you can disagree, but that, is, but that in no way is allowing you to talk down to me as if you are superior. If you compare Bastion to Soldier, both damage dealers, and hit scan, you can see a clear difference in the amount of skill that is required to play both heroes. Then this dude says, well, you're easily offended. I got offended after he said I was easily offended, especially seeing as you started the thread with trying to be offensive yourself. Not trying to be offensive. Uh... Hard to have a conversation with anyone if you expect people to tiptoe around your feelings. I didn't expect anyone to tiptoe around your feelings. He's simply being rude and disrespectful to me. You say that Symmetric Bash and Torbjorn take require less skill than Soldier Seven. I would argue that require more skill. I'm sorry, where? Let's just let's just go over this real quick. So Symmetra, throw your turrets in a specific place. Kill people. Okay. Torb, put your turret down and hope that it doesn't die. Bastion, sit down behind a shield. So much skill! Wow! Soldier 76 is a very forgiving hero. You can screw up all day long. You can aim not so great. Doesn't make sense. Uh, but you have your E to heal yourself, and your sprint ability to escape danger, and your Q ultimate is pretty truly impressive ability. It's worth being called an ultimate and worthy of being feared. And on top of that, he does massive burst damage if you get lucky and land a couple of headshots. Or a helix. Torbjorn and Symmetra require strategy. I can agree with that. Like the bait on the end of the hook. Torbjorn's gun isn't hit scan. It's projectile. Okay. Nine times out of ten, Tor players miss their shots because they can't aim. And you have to lead your shots and predict where enemy shots are. Symmetra's just not very good anymore, and I'm tired of arguing for her. Basically, it's, and Bastion, well, I don't really care about Bastion. So then I replied to him saying, to start, it is offensive when someone is insulting you for no reason whatsoever, I asked for a civil discussion because I didn't want people like you to come in here and start throwing around insults. Did you forget that Bastion has self-heal and that he can move around while using a Soldier's heal is only in one area on a cooldown, whereas Bastion is able to move around and heal for much longer given that his heal is a charged ability. Torbjorn and Sim would require more strategy if they didn't have autonomous turrets that could deal a hefty amount of damage. Torbjorn's primary fire does require skill, but as I have stated earlier, it is not the character that I'm focused on, it is their ability, specifically their turrets. Uh, and then he says, well, okay, I'm getting offended, I'm getting annoyed with you really fast, yes, because he can't take me counter-arguing him. You're, you're, oh, yes, you're playing like you're a victim when you started the thread saying how some of the heroes that I like to, okay, so it's what they like to play, okay that I like to play are skillless and cheesy and whatever, and you want a discussion or and or a debate, but you can't even handle the slightest bit of criticism. I'm annoyed and confused. I think I'm annoyed because you're so confusing like a child. Okay, I'm tempted to leave this in my last post because it's just a waste of time having to explain these things, but the frustrated part of me wants to go on and write, write more, being very overdramatic. One, I didn't mention anything about Bastion other than the fact that I don't care about Bastion. I'll agree with you on him. I think he's a bad hero for the game, too. He could be much better, but... The way he's made for this, a stationary cannon, is just lazy. It goes against what the game is. That is true. Everything about Bastion is bad? Yes, that's true. Turrets are easily destroyed. You just need a little bit of skill to accomplish that feat. And then you might... Especially Symmetra Sentries. Those are just really bad. My ignorance isn't most. Uh, no. And then this is my friend. Uh, she said, Hey, man, it seems like you came in here just to get angry. Please listen to people's ideas and read the words. They are saying, before you lay your hateful words and insults on them, I recommend keeping an open mind and a balanced heart when interacting with strangers. I appreciate your time. Thank you. All right. Well, I don't see how I'm hateful, but okay. I'm sorry for not being civil. I'm out. You guys discuss your thing. Yeah. So basically, this guy got super triggered. Uh, I'm going to see 
just what uh, his main is, I suppose. Let's see. So they have a private profile. Great. Um, yeah, that's basically what that was. Uh, that was a fun, like, ten minutes. Uh, then I made a post asking why people get upset. Um, uh, basically, Bastion is unfun to play against. He should stay as the worst hero in the game and have asked more majority of the time. Yeah. I was just asking, why do people get so upset? Because people do get upset. Whenever you criticize a hero, people get so upset. It's fun. Not fun, but yeah. That's uh, just what I wanted to talk about. Uh, is really the forums and how people just get very angry over nothing. I mean, honest to God, the guy was getting so heated because I was criticizing heroes that he likes to play. I didn't look at his profile. I didn't know. That's not my fault. I wasn't, because, you know, him saying that he's getting angry about what me criticizing what he likes to play, well, that completely counters his argument of saying, I'm not going to tiptoe around somebody's feelings. So you're saying I should have to tiptoe around your feelings. What? That makes zero sense, my guy. Um, so, you know, that is fun. The thing is, and the issue that I really have with Overwatch at this point, is that the community is kind of toxic. I'm not going to say I'm not toxic. I'm definitely, I can be toxic, most definitely. I leave games a lot. I trash talk to people, but I really only trash talk to people who aren't doing anything, you know, or like an enemy Bastion or a Torbjorn, because in my personal opinion, I believe that Bastion and Torbjorn are the lowest skill heroes in the game. I'm just saying that. Because you never really see a Torb primary firing at someone. Nine times out of ten, it's just shooting at like a Rhine shield or something. Uh, it His his arguments were completely... It, they just made no sense, really. Um, but I guess that's just me. Uh so, that's the first half of the video. I got a little uh, triggered with that. Um, but now, I just want to talk about the state of Overwatch and where I find myself whenever I play Overwatch. So, I know that I told you guys that I want to make more Overwatch videos and everything like that. But, I'm... I don't know. I get into Overwatch and all it is is cheese comps and me getting matched up against people who are a much higher skill level than me. I mean, I'm not even joking. I got in a match one time where I have, I'm like level 240 something. I got two level nines and a level 21. So they barely have a few hours of game time and they're on my team. On the enemy team, there was a silver portrait and a gold portrait. Because, you know, that's fun. They're like over a thousand levels. So, you know, that's great for me. Um, but, uh, you know, there's that. Uh, as well as, really, my main issue with Overwatch has been the cheese comps. I'm being completely truthful with you whenever I say if I get in a game and there's a Bastion and no one's doing anything, I leave the game. Honestly, and it's why I don't play comp, because I know that if I got into a comp match and they were doing a cheese comp, I would leave the game. Just simply because that's how annoying Bastion is. That's how annoying cheese comps are. And they're cheesy because they're basically an easy win. And I get it going for an easy win, but at the same time, it's also, you know, you're winning with no skill. Honest to God, and I if anyone out there is a Bastion or a Torb player, I'm sorry if I'm offending you, but really Bastion and Torb compared to literally any other hero requires significantly less less skill, especially if they're being supported by like four other heroes. So that's where I find myself in Overwatch where I'm not having fun with it anymore. Uh I'm just I'm not having you know, it's just, I get into a game and I get stomped because it's a cheese comp. And I solo queue in quick play most of the time. You hear solo queue in quick play, you can just assume there is no communication, no coordination. And in quick play, 9 times out of 10, people are playing DPS. Honest to God. Uh, I got in a game one time where there was a Widow, a Hanzo, a Reaper, 
a soldier and there was like uh, a Zarya. So it was up to me, okay, I can heal or I can tank. We don't have a main tank, so we're probably going to get mowed down. But if we don't have a healer, then we're probably going to die really fast. So either way, we're going to die really fast. <laughs> so, that, I mean, that's just where I find myself. You know, people don't, you know, want to switch. You know, and I get it. It's quick play and everything. But still, it that will still affect, you know, your matchmaking and your MMR and everything. And it, I don't know. It Overwatch has gotten to a point to where I feel like it's really based on luck. <laughs> Like, are your teammates going to be halfway decent? Are your teammates going to be willing to switch? You know, are your teammates going to have a good comp? You know, it's just a lot of things that go into it. And I don't know. I'm not saying that I'm going to quit Overwatch. Uh, but it's definitely driving me to play other games. Uh, for instance, I've been playing a lot of Fortnite Save the World. I love Save the World. I bought it on my Xbox whenever it first came out. Had to rebuy it on PC because Xbox is weird. Um, so there's that. As well as, uh, I've been playing a lot of Dead by Daylight. I love Dead by Daylight. Ooh, and Siege. Dead by Daylight and Siege. Those are my f fun games. Uh, not necessarily fun. Frustrating, but I still find them fun. They're not as frustrating as Overwatch. Um, but... Yeah, that, that's really where I find myself with Overwatch. Uh, also, I should mention, uh, you may be wondering why there haven't been many videos on my YouTube channel. Also, sorry for saying uh, but that's the, not that. The reason why is because I've been trying to stream a lot more. I've been bouncing back and forth between uh, Twitch and Mixer. Uh, I'm trying to just stream on Mixer from here on out. Uh, I like Twitch, but... With the them removing no ads from Twitch Prime, that it real it's dumb. Twitch, I don't know, um, but I am trying to stream on Mixer more. I would definitely like to build up a small little community on there. I'm not expecting anything, you know, 500 followers in two days. Uh, but uh, if you guys would like to, uh, I'll leave a link in the description to my Mixer channel. That's probably where you're going to find me most. Uh, I would definitely recommend downloading the Mixer app to your phone or something or uh, setting up email notifications so that whenever I go live, you'll know. Uh, I am definitely going to try to communicate it more in my Discord. I don't do it that often, but I'm going to try to communicate it more in my Discord. I do have a Discord. I'll leave a link to my Discord. <laughs> um, but, oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm saying uh, a lot. I'm trying to gather my thoughts while I'm talking. Um... But I am definitely going, I'm trying to stream more on Mixer. And I, I, like I said, I would highly recommend joining joining my Discord. There's like five people on it. <laughs> but if you want notifications as to when I go live, that's probably one of the best places to go. As well as I would love to interact with anyone who watches my content. Uh, anyways, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. It, it really does mean a lot. Um, yeah, let's see. Mixer, Discord, yeah. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, you. I'm never doing that again.